You ready? Ready. Putting Mary Kelly on the back burner while she continues to destroy lives with those microchips, but for now, we've no choice. Then perhaps it's time to have a closer look at the elephant in the room. Nigel Cass, billionaire warmonger and current CEO of our local horde of thugs, Albion BMC. Cass certainly profited most from the bombings. We can inspire London to resist from now till forever, but it still won't break Albion's grip on the city. Not with Cass at the top. Please tell me you've got a real plan. I've tangled with men like Cass before. If we're just playing at being resistance fighters, we're stepping into a world of hurt. Bagley's come across a possible gap in Cass's armor. An ex-insider, ex-friend with an axe to grind. He'd be an asset if we can find and convince him to work with us. Come to the safe house. We'll talk it through. Dead sex sent me. What's the problem? God, really? I thought you might be interested in my date last night. This'll be good. Not like that. He was just this normal man, very arrogant, spoke about how he can expense whatever he wants because he has dirt on his balls. What's that got to do with anything? Because he works for Jack Heath, CEO of Evangeline's Auction House. Heath could interest you. Many of his clients are literal criminals. I expect him to be one too. So this dirt my date's got, it's likely something serious. Up for his second date? Can't. I met him on Puller, and he has already changed his preferences. I'm not his type anymore. He's all yours. I look into him. It seems our man Gareth Hendricks updates his preferences nearly every day. Right now, he's looking for a professional getaway driver. What? He must want a thrilling criminal romance. I mean, I get it. I once had a fling with a North Macedonian botnet. We'll need to find someone who fits the bill. I found someone who matches Hendrix's preferences. Pushing you their location now. Find the suspect! is now taking an Albion mandated timeout. You're up. <laughs> I knew it. I've been waiting to go anyway. Get the hell out of here. Longer you draw it out, the 
worse it will get. You look like the sort who wants to make a difference. Oh, don't tell me you're with DeadSec. You came at just the right time, you know. This gangster I work for double-crossed me, man. And now that twat needs to pay. Nah, cuz. DeadSec don't play like that. We're not thugs for hire. But let me start from the beginning. Right, I used to boost cars for this waste, man, yeah? I was good. The last job was this luxury supercar. The job went bad. The boss left me for dead and made off with a whip. I almost got killed for some fucking car, man. Boss still has it, you know. I want you to take it back. Help her sister out, and I'll owe you big time. Know what I mean? Aight. Sounds like a right laugh. Could you not stand so close, please? Our friend sent us the location of the car. Passing it on to you now. Bro, stop. The car should be on site here. Try to get it out in one piece. On it. Let's see what they see. That will be the shivering willy compensator there. Got the ride, now what? Feels nice, don't it? 
Now, next step, drive the fucker into the Thames. For real? Oh, my bad. Do you think you're keeping it? Nobody can have this. Not after all that happened. Driving the whip into the Thames will be like an ultimate. Fuck you. what you said. Just so you know, when I said I owe you, I meant it. Hey, our squad always needs new blood. You in? Fuck it. I'm in. Welcome to DedSec, fam. We're getting smarter, faster, and madder every day. Banging! I'm gassed. When do we start bashing heads in? Sick. Hello, I'm sorry to tell you, but your dating preferences have been hacked by me. The fuck you say? Oh, calm down. I did it for a mission, mostly. Seems you're a match with our friend Gareth Hendricks, and I had to get his attention. Go and meet him over at Seven Dials Pub. The Resistance needs your charms. Fine, whatever.
scan. Yeah, let's just hurry this up, alright? Scanning. Oh, for fuck's sakes! Clear. Now get out of my face. It took you long enough. I'm a fucking natural oh! this. Bellend! You ready to party? Apologies, but this is Bagley. Who are you expecting? Oh, mate, you just got released from Wandsworth, actually. Smashing news. How about I arrange a coming home party for them while you see to this current resistance business? Remember, we need his intel on his boss, so be up for it. Alright. Well, this is always an expectation versus reality moment, isn't it? Real things always better, bruv. No disappointments that way. Agreed. Can I shout you a lager? Oh, that's real fancy. Inheritance money. Hardly, but yeah, I'm charging it to my boss, so don't be shy. <laughs> oh, shit. That was a good story. That's right. If it's rare, Jack Heath is there, converting it into yachts and cars. He doesn't care that it's stolen or part of some culture's heritage. And yours truly has got his number. What's he do with all the stuff he stole? Sleep with it? Fuck no. He's all about the money. He just facilitates the sales for the ones with the layers for a substantial fee. Hmm, that's kind of hot, you know. Another? Fine, whatever. I'm fucked. Did you really have sex with him? I needed that, fam. All right, fill us in and don't skip the details. Oh, loads, man. Get this, yeah? Keith is smuggling Egyptian artifacts, but I'm certain he's not working alone. Sounds like we need to call up someone a bit closer to the action. Let me introduce you to Sabrit Gamal, DedSec Cairo's intel expert. She's like their more fallible version of me. Sabra, this is DedSec London. London, Sabra. Hey, what's up? We found a smuggling operation involving Egyptian artifacts. That sound familiar to you? Sure does. We've long suspected Egypt's Minister for Antiquities of robbing government archives and funneling the proceeds to an extremist insurgent group. If your contact is part of the operation, it could be the break we need. Interesting. What else you got? Yeah, he is a scumbag. Thanks, cuz. No, I'm not buying into Hendrix bragging, you know. Sorry. We need his files. Who's the lucky one this time? He certainly does mix it up. Now he's looking for a DJ. Maybe he wants to cut a single with his todger. Fucking great. I found someone who matches.
I can't talk, I'm on reconnaissance. What's her deal, Bugsy? She's an activist who's been trying to gather intel on Albion personnel movements through the city. Looks like she wants to stay one step ahead of the goons. Smart. Well, let's help her. She'd be good in dead set, yeah? Understood. The easiest way to obtain the data would be to steal an Albion heavy assault vehicle and dissect it on board Satnav. That would give us a clear picture of Albion's recent movements. I'll see what I can do. Right, now what? I can confirm that the onboard hard drive contains all the data our friend could need. Pushing you a suitable drop-off point. On my way. Negative. No sign of suspect. Over.
of the suspect. Activist friend has come to collect the vehicle. Let's talk to her. Is this the data delivery your AI was talking about? You people have heard of email, right? Bagley likes to keep things on the down low. Look at the whip. The hard drive in there has got what you need. You'll get no argument from me. This data should help my people stay one step ahead of the mercs. Those Albion dogs are as good as leashed. I'm in your debt. Hey, our squad always needs new blood. You in? Consider me in. We've been needing talent like you, cuz. Glad you joined the fight. I must say, I'm rather looking forward to the experience. Let's go hunt some baddies. Fuck yeah. You're up. And with any luck, Hendrix will be too. He'll be waiting for you in a gazebo near the duck cottage.
tidiest man on the planet, but he's not stupid. It'll take more than you batting your eyelashes to get those incriminating files on Heath out of him. Let's do it. Good day. Hey, sorry about the surroundings. I thought it might make a nice break from the pub, but now I feel like feeding the ducks and complaining about my back. Don't get me started on my back. Hopefully, that's where this ends. We'll see. What do you say we start with a bit of conversation? Sorry, couldn't resist. Come on, let's have a seat. Your job sounds stressful. Used to be. Since I've got that file, I take everything in stride, you know? Nothing worries me anymore. You're not scared. I mean, it sounds like he's in with some nasty people. What if they... you know? I have to admit, I'm getting off on the danger. Funny you should say that. Right. Good night. Spare me. We have to get to his office computer. It's got an encrypted file detailing all of Heath's illicit transactions. Sending the location, not the nicest area. And here, Hendrix seemed like such an innocent and clean living fella.
have the targets now. If the shithead's gone, then it's not my problem anymore.
I'm in. Leave it to me. I plumbed the drive, but I can't seem to read it. He's probably using a hardware security module for encryption. Without it, this will take a very, very long time. We can discuss it later. Get out of here. Me out here, Bagley. I can decrypt it without Hendrix's master key if you don't mind putting this project on the back burner for the next 26 years. Don't tell me we need to go on another date. Quite. Hendrix has, of course, updated his dating preferences again. Eclectic bugger, isn't he? Great. Tell me, what extremely specific fetish is he chasing this time? This time he's looking for a spy, although I don't know what kind of spy would give away their secret identity on an unsecured anonymous dating site. Okay. I found someone who matches Hendrix's...